¿Es la de él? ¿De quién es? ¿De él? ¿Eh? ¿De él? Hola a todos. Tengo un par de cosas para ti hoy. Voy a mover este desk aquí. Un poco out en frente de estos... Um, and there's going to be a projector underneath the desk. It's hooked up to a Raspberry Pi. It's playing a video that's um, got a bunch of text in it. Um, while I'm doing that, David's going to move this pedestal um, over here out, put a board on top of it. Um, I'm going to shut the door and pull that grate um, outside down so it gets completely dark in here. <laughs> We're going to get naked and put um, these ponchos on so as to kind of mask our nakedness a little bit. Um, David's going to cut some plaster bandages into strips. Um, when he's doing that, I'm going to read some text that will be coming from this projector up here over on this wall. Um, I'll be holding up a mirror and then it will reflect back onto the wall so I can read it. Turn that off once David's done um, cutting up the bandages. We'll put some ketchup packets into our mouth and uh, mark the end of the 2x4 on the pedestal. Um, we'll jump onto the board and then we'll saw some ends that we marked off the board. Um, we'll get off, we'll grab the chunks that we cut off, uh, put them into a, a black bag. Um, we'll get back onto the board and then turn so we're facing each other. Um, we'll spread Vaseline on our faces and put glitter <laughs> um, We'll proceed to cast um, our mouth the board in it. We'll turn back around and let that dry. Um, we'll get back down and then put our mouths back onto the long board and lower that to the ground.
Incorrect. The functions are perfect. Um, nobody can figure out what the accident Application is. of um, fire extinguisher. Know, you know, all I can say is I yield to that experience and to provide it to others. See if it is valuable to them. Words, English words, are full of echoes, memories, associations. They've been out in the past on people's lips, in their highways, in the streets, in the fields, for so many centuries. And that is one of the chief difficulties in writing in today. They are stored with other meanings, with other memories, and they have contracted so many famous marriages in the past. The splendid word in Carmadine, for example, who can use that without remembering multitudinous scene? In the old days, of course, when English was a new language, writers could invent new words and use them. Nowadays, it's easy enough to invent new words, but they spring to the lips whenever we see a new sight or feel a new sensation. But we cannot use them. Because the English language is a... You cannot use a brand new word in an old language because of the very obvious, yet always mysterious fact that a word is not a single and separate entity, it is part of other words. Indeed, it is not a word until it is part of a sentence. Words belong to each other. Although, of course, only a great poet knows that the word incarnadine belongs to multitudinous seeds. To combine new words with old words is total to the constitution of the sentence. In order to use new words properly, you would have to invent a whole new language. And that, there's no doubt we shall come to it, is not at the moment our business. Our business is to see what we can do with the old English language as it is. How can we combine the old words in no order, so they survive. The so that they One, create two, three. So that they tell the truth. That is the question. And the person who could answer that question would be <coughs> the one who would be 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 the one who If you could teach or if you could learn the art of writing, why every book, every newspaper would pick up, one, would tell two, the truth. Three. All of creativity. But there is, it would appear, some obstacle in the way. And I've always hoped, I've always wanted and never succeed to also paint a little smile, but I, 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 I have never been able to do it. Actually, in your work as a whole, there are relatively few paintings that have uh, ostensible subjects which might be more terrific. And uh, most of them are very strange subjects and famously diagrams and so on. And yet people have a sense that you're aware of the poems. And why do you think it's back to that? Well, I think so. I mean, you know, the craft is the most true that we were in the book of Shaw. You see, the beauty is neat. How beautiful to me to be in the game where you think of that. And also, you see, of the whole horror of life, of one thing that you want to know. The natural process of love and the natural sequence of love is why it's kept on all these reasons to be part of all of them. Because what you know, they will eat meat and then complain about bull cotton. Things that they have, they will go in and complain about bull cotton covered in fur and birds in their hair and not their hair. I mean, it's so illogical. But your people's sense of your work as being horrific um, is not really justified by the uh, ostensible subject matter. Why do you think they have this feeling that it is? Well, the things I've always hoped to put over things as directly and broadly as I possibly can, perhaps if a thing comes across directly, they feel that, that that is horrific. Because if you say, if you say something, even if you say something very directly to somebody about something, they are, they are sometimes offended, although it is a fact. Because people tend to be offended by facts, or what used to be called truth. Thank you.
go back to Mars, and I, I support that. Uh, I had that little ring. It was a child's ring. I don't know anyone else that has saved it. There are others that have run across it. When they were older, it was passed to them again to remind them. And they have thrown it out. I chose to save it because I want to talk about it. And I want people to know these things are real. This room has blood stains on it. It has a bar sinister on a crest on the side. And that is indicative of bloodline. There are others that have this ring out there. They start involving you in rituals. They start watching you. They watch your reaction. They push you to be as involved as they can get you to be. In a ritual, they will hold your hand on a rope when they do a sacrifice. This is so horrific for a child that they really have a hard time remembering. This is so deeper layer that goes inside the child. I was involved in all of these things. I am not the only one. There are others. There are all children are brought up like this. It makes you part of the group. They may tell you, you are one of us. You're just like us. According to MKUltra documents and sources, the methodology of mind control works best when severe trauma is administered by the age of three years old. Severe trauma, such as rape, applied at the age of three, will cause the personality to split or dissociate in an attempt to shield the mind from memories of events too painful to endure. The psychiatric terms are multiple personality disorder or dissociative identity disorder and can be produced accidentally or purposefully. The Three Faces of Eve is the true story of multiple personality disorder created by childhood abuse. Psychic trauma and creation of multiple personalities was eventually codified by programmers into a standard methodology and is typically accomplished by forcing children to observe and participate in the ritual sacrifice of animals and humans and inducing further psychic trauma by the means of rape and other horrors. The trauma causes the dissociation. This functions much like the partitioning of a hard drive in a computer. The dissociative state is used as an opening to hypnotically induce an alternate shell personality. The programmer will use hypnosis and triggers to call forth the created personality known as an alter personality. Only 20% of the general population is easily hypnotizable, but trauma at an early age makes people vulnerable to dissociation and thus easily hypnotizable. Typically, the programmer might wear a costume, such as a rabbit suit, and sacrifice a rabbit in front of the child victims before they are physically traumatized. The image of the rabbit, a phrase from Alice in Wonderland, or similar paired images are used as the triggers to call forth the alter personality. The method works best when the trauma is repeated around six years of age. A few years later, the child victim's IQ tests and personality tests are evaluated to determine whether the child may be trained in assassination, sexual blackmail, drug courier, or other role. The subject can be hypnotized and used for operations, but we would only be consciously aware of the sense of lost time. Sorry, 
Well, let's come back to that. Let's come back to that one. And you want me to finish? Well, no, we'll come back to they that. They want to know. Yeah. It's, uh, very fast. My birthday is February 2nd. Uh -huh. My mother's is January the, the 30th. Mm -hmm. My son was born on January 30th. That means that uh, uh, my mother's my mother's mother and and I mm -hmm. had to uh, conceive on the same day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder in families if that happens much. Probably doesn't happen much. You know? I don't think so. No, I don't know. Okay, so now I'm sitting there and I'm looking at, um, I'm trying to explain to these people who are looking at me with blank stares about how, since I was at the University of Texas, I wanted to do um, a, a, a body, I wanted to paint with my You're body. You're major when in college. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, you, and you wanted to, to do like a painting with the... I wanted to paint with my body. Well, yeah, like an abstract sort of thing. <laughs> I said to him, I don't know if I'm going to be able to be a judge of this type of thing. What's real, what's not. When I don't have much knowledge of it, you know. So, what did he say? He said, well, we have to build the information as we go, and you'll see how this thing's working out. And the other thing is, of course, you really wanted to tell a family or, or close friends. Well, I, I couldn't tell anybody. The fact that I had to take a vow that I wouldn't tell anybody one of it for 40 years and more of it for 50 years, which is up in 2010. You're doing all this crypto work. You're Look at images for the last video. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. What is the problem? Oh, I don't think. Keep going. 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 Yeah. 
and that the resurrection technology, all those illustrations in my book, Moses Hystrangeness by the abductees, that ability to construct new containers that are indistinguishable from the previous container. The abductees say that the non-humans do that all the time and project <coughs> their selves into containers so that they, there is no way, except with technology of some sort, to tell the roly-poly humans from the humans that are camouflaged, so to speak, for the non-humans interacting with this planet. This is how complicated this gets. Good work, when you're actually talking about an invasion. Well, I don't even know that that's a fair word because I've come to but as. If we got down on a petri dish with bacteria to study it, we have to do something to get down into that petri dish. And in a funny, strange way, the metaphor is that if you're an advanced civilization in the universe and you want to experience what it is like to be, let's say, evolving planets on Earth, then you make something in which you can project your consciousness into so that you can be close and upfront but you don't want to be detected by that which you have made and are tweaking and are studying. So it's not an invasion, because the last thing they want is our destruction, some of them. Some of them may think that we are not 